not functioning so we are going to use the microphone of the camera this time i received so many questions here in middle east the ones which are most commonly asked i will start with ani papia i was so glad to find out your channel here and on instagram recently you're a great inspiration to so many as you prove again that aging is never a challenge for class, beauty, and elegance. May I ask what are your sizes? I guess probably S or M. Your styling notes are very useful. As for coats, I guess the quality of coat is very important. The way it looks, senses when you touch it. And the best quality are provided by the pricey brands, which are not accessible to so many. But for all other items, I think one can find similar styling or budget uh, brands such as Zara and so on. Thank you again for sharing your valuable tips and guidance with so, this question. I'm often asked about my sizes and weight because sometimes people think that I'm too skinny. Regarding the sizes that I'm using, I'm uh, using from XS until large, literally. And that all depends, the size that I choose depends on what is the style that I'm choosing. I love to have, for example, like very tight uh, tops. And normally when I body silhouette, when I choose something which is, we should show body silhouette that I'm size XS or S. If I will choose the jacket, that would be medium or large. If I have to choose the coat, I sometimes choose the coat which I know that I'm going to wear over the jacket, so therefore this coat has to be a size larger uh, than my jacket. Or the sweater, if I'm going to wear it with the oversized sweaters, of course I cannot choose the coat which is going to be the size uh, less than and large or, or even sometimes extra large. Honey, you are right. Regarding the brands and the prices, a uh, lot of very good styles you can find in H&M, Zara, or... I totally agree. Therefore, I don't even like to link the brands and the, with the, the outfits that I'm wearing because you can always find something similar to it. I give you the idea about the style, colors that, that you can choose, the shape of the bag or, or, or boots that you can choose with it. But anyway, you can find all this uh, also for less price brands that we just mentioned. So you were right about it. Thank you for, for your question and let's see one on the other one. Jordan Foster wrote, I've been following you on Insta for a while and I always admire your classy, timeless style. Thank you for sharing your lovely personality through YouTube. Thank you so much. That's very encouraging. This media adds a wonderful additional layer to your online presence. Truly love it. Great content, beautiful lady inside and out. XOXO. Thank you so much. Really, that means uh, so much to me, dear Jordan. Especially because, you know, sometimes I ask myself in this half an hour where I did like intro <laughs> before I realized that my mic microphone is not working. I actually talked about this that uh, I have to change a little bit of angle because I have pain in my arm. I actually realized that uh, so much effort is done and invested and I was asking myself well, this is something worthful. And then today, before I went to my favorite bar to have a coffee with my husband, someone stopped me on the street today and, and uh, it was a man. I was surprised because most of the time there are women which were following me. And he said, I follow you on YouTube, great job. And I was like, wow, that was the sign. Because really, like when I found all these difficulties and I feel like giving up and maybe it's like just too much for many others which are doing it and why I'm so special, you know, like what can I offer more than other already? And uh, yeah, then I received this kind of, uh, I would say sign that I should keep going and uh, therefore, yeah, I will continue to do this and hopefully you will support me through all this process. As I said, I want to uh, create the content together with you, like some kind of platform where constructive things are going to be discussed, not uh, something which is going to be just uh, time to lose. Chiari Firenze, 
wonderful video. Please tell us something about your makeup routine, what you use on a daily basis for your makeup favorite fragrances. Show us your makeup routine and your serums, creams, and everything for skin for 50 plus. Dear Chiari, uh, my daily makeup routine, I don't feel like filming it because really I'm not a, a makeup expert. I think I said already that in one of my previous videos. I would like to change this into like uh, advices for everything, you know, like I will show you as I did some kind of my uh, workout routine because I found this very important. But regarding the makeup, I'm not a makeup artist and I'm just like, I was just watching tutorial on, on YouTube for someone who is more specialized than me and I start to apply this kind of makeup on myself. I use the foundation and I always use like a different kind of powder. Well, the other question was regarding my creams, yeah. I mean, my uh, serums, I don't use serums, I use creams. So my all-time favorite, definitely, last 15 years is this Shiseido Beauty Performance and I'm using it in the morning and in the evening. I use, uh, like, very important thing is that I have to repeat all the time, I'm repeating. That's something which my grandmother told to my mother and my mother told me is that the best thing uh, that you can do for your skin is to remove your makeup face before you go to sleep i'm using some kind of oils when i uh, from time to time i have a very dry skin i have to say that and also i'm traveling a lot by plane and the humidity of the air is like under five percent most of the time i realized that in the last three years i spent almost one year in the plane so it is totally disaster for my skin and i noticed that it so gets so dry especially around my neck and uh, on my uh, because those are the zones which are like extremely uh, hit by every bad influence. So I uh, started to use like a kind of the oil like before I used it a lot and then I had the small break and now I'm using it again. It's an argan oil and I use a coconut oil which you can buy in any shop of a natural products cost something like five euros like a bottle like this another secret of mine is this cocoa and retina oil that i'm using for the body and uh, this is something that i use a lot i use it also for my hair and uh, if you're interested write me down below i will show you a best receipt for making your hair hair shiny and healthy again in home conditions um, Right now I'm with the car and I cannot show you the products, but if you want, just write me down and I'm going to show you which products you can use and make a mix which is going to be extremely good for your hair. Nasta Fedotto. I watched this video with a great pleasure. I look forward to continue. Maybe we'll make a video about accessories and how you select them for outfits. Actually, I have to say that sometimes I'm starting my uh, outfit practically from the accessor. So I have the earrings which I love so much and or a necklace or even a belt. Today I started to build my outfit from the belt and then I give it up <laughs> afterwards uh, because I had not so much time and uh, I didn't try it before. I'm starting to build my outfit most of the time exactly from the accessor. I choose the bag or I choose the earrings as I said and uh, I don't know it comes very spontaneous many of questions that you wrote me are regarding exactly how to combine even though how to combine a certain color so for example like burgundy or green you ask me that kind of questions and I really realized that I will have to go through the whole video just building one outfit to give you some of the ideas how I'm starting and how I'm doing it so right now I'm going to say just like uh, basic things but to go into the specials I will do it in one of my next videos write me down exactly what would you like me to show you and I will do that I feel like I'm choosing my accessor uh, on the base of how I feel you know and the accessor is the thing that I invest maybe the most of my money besides coats and boots and shoes Basically, my general 
answer definitely must haves for ladies that need to have a look super chic is to invest in one good piece of the wardrobe for a season it can be a statement piece it can be a statement foulard necklace it can be a pin it can be a pair of sunglasses depending on what you uh, are personal favorites I love foulards I invest a lot in the foulards I have many of them headscarves uh, shawls and so on in different colors and it can be also a bag or a pair of boots or a pair of gloves so this is something that will lift up your level of your whole outfit on a, on a different level if you like colors invest in details instead of big pieces of like coats or, or because it's very tricky to joke with the colors and to look stylish still you know like not to over exaggerate I like to be on a, on a secure side so I prefer to keep uh, it so basically monochrome look is something that is going to be definitely yes always because that's the way how you can stay stylish without doubt look like I have today you see even that it's a strong color I just use some details in another color to cut this red but even that you have like a very strong uh, color looks very elegant those are my Gucci slippers. So I'm from head to toe in one color. So Christila Coop found you on Instagram. Absolutely love your style. Super excited that I found your videos. Love you even more. Keep making videos. Love them. Can I ask one favor? Please show and slow the cutaways to your photos down in the videos. Would love to see each photo for five seconds longer. Dear, I promise you, dear Crystal, I promise you I'm gonna do that in my future videos and um, if you want to see better every style, you can go to my Instagram Real Fashionist and there you can see all of them in my feed, in my Instagram feed. Kratzer, perfect. It's like behind the scenes look on your Instagram. The Instagram picks to lie, lie. Thank you so much. Mali, your body is perfect. I'm 30 and envy to you. What are your parameters? I am thank you so much. First of all, Mali. I'm one meter eighty-two centimeters tall and I'm sixty-three kilo kilograms. My my uh, weight. Alina Sukeva, dear Jacqueline, you're doing such a great job and you're way, ma way more better with cutting videos. Oh, thank you so much. That was one of my issues at the beginning. Yeah, I just couldn't, in the editing, cut very well and I was losing my audio. I'm so happy for you. Can't wait to see more videos of yours. Love you. Thank you so much. And there, here are my questions. Alina wrote a very detailed uh, questions your rules of mixing luxuries clothes with mass market love to see it in your Instagram you said that a lot of pieces of your wardrobe are collaborations if it was if it wasn't so in which expensive pieces of clothes would you invest wait 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 a second this I'm gonna answer one by one because it's more complex so the first one your rules of mixing luxuries clothes with mass market love to see it in your Instagram Basically, my rule is always choose the pieces which are going to last for uh, like a long time period. Let's say, for for example, now I'm wearing this Alberta Ferretti coat, which is really a piece. Uh, coat or my shoes or my bags. I am ready to invest in a good quality one. Pieces that I'm going to wear for wear for many seasons the second question you said that a lot of pieces of your order of our collaborations if it was ah that was the your rules of mixing and yeah i i mixed these two questions so i answer it on the second one mixing luxury is close with the mass market yeah um basically that would be like both questions answer that i did uh, i start with big pieces which i invest in and then I'm uh, 
using for example for the smaller uh, things that I'm using every day uh, like t-shirts like turtlenecks like uh, sometimes skirts trousers the seasonal things that probably I'm not going to wear in the next season or or two or I choose a brand less expensive one let's say like that favorite fragrances oh yeah I have like every season has its fragrance <laughs> candy Prada Donna Car, Kevin Klein Euphoria it's my favorite it's currently my absolute favorite it's almost finished and uh, special edition Tom Ford Black Orchid Press Perfume of Tom Ford this one I absolutely adore there is also Dior uh, Addict which is in one of my bags and I cannot find it currently so those are my perfumes right now my favorite perfume my absolute favorite because it's the favorite of my daughter which is um, Calvin Klein Euphoria and I love that perfume because I miss her so much so I buy this perfume just to that's her statement perfume and she uses it all the time so I buy this perfume and I put it uh, on just because I miss her and I want to feel her smell because uh, for you that don't know, we live in the different countries. I live in Italy, she lives in Serbia. Okay, so further, favorite, uh, fourth question for favorite beauty products and or beauty routine. Definitely MAC, MAC Cosmetics. So that's something that I'm using on a daily basis. Definitely, definitely, that's MAC Cosmetics. Stay healthy and happy. Love you. Thank you so much, dear Alina. And the next one coming from Daria Haider. I'm interested about your food and sport, Daria. Uh, you can already see on my uh, YouTube, I did the video about my workout routine. And this is a video, I think I'm a grandmother. What is your superpower? So uh, I was showing my workout routine and sport that I do. I actually going on uh, my wedding filmed for you one uh, long video, which I still didn't yes, post. I always have my weight with me and uh, in my uh, other videos, I will show you the uh, other equipment that I use. You know, you tell me it's not easy to find it to find the strength it's not easy girls hello come on whoever said it's easy uh, about my workout while in the car while traveling and uh, I also have some workouts that I posted that, that, what I do when I'm on the beach how I'm working out on the beach and so on about my food I, I eat food with no ingredients what that means uh, that means that I eat food with one ingredient meat is only meat uh, fruit apple apple no ingredient so yeah that would be about my food and sport if you're interested in the subject let me know I would love to dedicate more time definitely to to this issue Lavanda Sophie questions. Could you tell us more about yourself? How did you learn a few languages? What was your career before fashion blog? What do you like to read? How do you keep up with expanding your talents? How does your typical days lo day looks like? Oh, this is also very complex, like six in one questions. I learned a few languages by living in, in the different countries and uh, I studied in English, I lived in Switzerland, I studied uh, there as well and uh, therefore I had to speak uh, German. My career before I am the, the owner of the company that is uh, uh, bidding in international standards regarding the railway sector before I was working on the sector roads and rails then I just put the focus on the rail and I was the one forming the joint ventures from the different kind of partners from all over the world with the references required for the tenders and connecting them with the local companies as the subcontractors and uh, yeah it was nothing to do with the fashion on the contrary as a, a homely woman always in, in the in the office I had to really 
low down my profile as a female only female and I was dressing very 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 like Manish style you know and also I would put like shirts size bigger and everything like just to get less possible attention on how I look and more on what I have to say what I have to say and it is difficult to stay low profile when you're the only woman in the room I have to tell you but I managed when I started with my uh, Instagram and even today I build up my my image on uh, my personal uh, favorites base like on my preferences I managed to thanks to the previous job have a good foundation so I was not uh, pushed to accept any collaboration just because I need to survive and pay my bills so I built it up my image thanks to the, all that previous experience. I just applied on a new field, which was the fashion. And the product in this case was me. The project product was me. And it worked as uh, in another sphere. It worked very well. So the know-how, it's very important. And I think that the business in the general is something that uh, is principle is the same. Everything else are just... Uh, Alliances. So, I lost a little bit the thread of what I wanted to say. The career, I told you already about it. Uh, what I like to read. I'm reading always several books. It's incredible. I love to read something about NDA experiences. Lately, i last three years, I'm very much into it. Exploring the religion and exploring the all this kind of like what's going on philosophy about life and what's going on after the life. I like psychology. Uh, I studied psychology and it's something that I'm totally in love with and I work a lot on myself in that way. Comic books, like I like comic books. So basically I'm reading like in three, four languages. At the moment I'm reading about the life of a Putin. Paolo Coelho, Adulterio. Siamo tutti filosofi. Basta volerlo. And Putin, Vita di uno tar, Life of One Tsar. And also I'm reading uh, one book of... I like, for example, my favorite writer is Paolo Coelho. I'm back to Alchemist. Because now I understand it much different than before, four years ago. And basically to expand my talents, like I go on the courses, I'm really, like I said already, I'm... Uh, choosing the field and uh, after I choose the field I'm just working around it you know like exploring reading uh, trying to improve uh, my knowledge about uh, any field that I'm interested in currently this is uh, photography uh, movie registering uh, making audio montage and stuff like this how does your typical day looks like Look, I really don't have a typical day because each day is different depending on the duties that I have for that day. So uh, basically now I'm traveling a lot as I said and uh, just the fact that you are always moving from one place to another makes your routine impossible because you, you simply don't know what is waiting for you in the new town. And uh, also moving from a hotel to hotel, the only typical and routine thing that I have is that the two suitcases are ready and two are ready to unpack. Two packed already and two to unpack. So this is the only routine that I have. But Matea, Matea, tell us more about your education. Also, I would like to hear your book recommendation. You are amazing. Just keep filming. I studied psychology, but I've never worked as, as a psychologist, as I said. But this knowledge helped me a lot through the life and uh, in my business book that definitely changed my life entire life is man's search for meaning by viktor frankl